Welcome to a spanking new episode of Business and Leadership Stories with Sachin Bandari from The Story Co. Business story coach and trainer extraordinaire. He helps companies, startups and professionals break the culture of MBA speak. Uses the power of stories and helps organize, uh, organizations achieve their business goals with speed and ease. And this is done via coaching, consulting and training. Uh, basically, Sachin narrates a small little business story, a nugget, and then he gives us the all-important communication tip or business leadership lesson that we can learn from that story. How art thou, my friend? Very good, uh, Rishi Sam. Very good. <laughs> well, I remember when ICICI Bank uh, went through this huge crisis. Chanda Kocher, her husband in the dock, uh, imprisonment. Uh, lots of unsavory things being said about the bank and its top management. But if there's one man who stood tall, who steadied the ICICI ship after uh, Chanda Kocha's infamous exit, is a gentleman called Sandeep Bakshi. That's right, Rishi. And I'd like you to talk about Bakshi and what circumstances he took over, what he did uh, for the present at the time and the future of ICICI Bank. Rishi, I came across an interesting article in the Ken uh, written by Rana Kumar Gunjan a few months ago. That was the time that ICICI had announced its, uh, you know, results, earnings call. And they had uh, posted the highest ever earnings. Uh, and also the employee strength of the company was the highest ever in its entire lifetime. And, you know, just a few years back, back in 2018, October, if I'm not wrong, is when Chanda Kocher had this infamous exit, Sandeep Bakshi had to come in. Of course, nobody envied the man at that point in time because it was a tough place to be and a tough position to take up. Uh, and he's made all of these changes. And why has he been able to make the changes is a more important question. Now, there are a few initiatives that Sandeep Bakshi took. Uh, one of them, at least according to the article, right? So I'm speaking from the article and not from what uh, Mr. Bakshi had told, has told me over a phone call, if uh, anybody has that confusion. So the article states that first thing he did is that he did away with the bell curve assessments are used by banks and a lot of other companies. While they are supposed to be very good in terms of uh, rating performances, etc., the negative part or the not so savory part of bell curve assessments is that you get slotted in employee groups. So even if you've done better than your previous year, you may still find yourself in the low performer group, and which is something that most employees wouldn't like, right? So he. I'm, I'm not a, to be honest. I want to put it out there on record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of the bell curve assessment. <laughs> okay, interesting. I mean, there are times well, when I've I've come away saying I've had a good year. You know, mm -hmm. I've been pretty elated with my own performance. And then I know you've got to take one for the team sometimes, Sachin. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you've got to fall a little bit for the team. But the extent to which I've fallen courtesy, the bell curve, okay, uh, it, it just didn't do any justice to my contribution. To the organization yeah. but anyway that's a side part so i'm, no, I'm glad the, that he decided to do away with it yeah he completely did away with it and i'm happy to hear your story because then it, it tells me that it's real right i'm somebody who works uh, in a two three person organization so we don't really need bell curve assessments out here so he did away with the bell curve assessment that was one number two uh, he tried to reinstate better work-life balance so ICICI probably is the only top bank at this point in time where employees also have been reported to take three week leaves, like three week vacation. You know, where does that happen otherwise, right? And uh, no firing. So though it's not a guideline, it's not a policy, it is now said that in ICICI, they don't let you go so easily. The worst that may happen is they will send you to a posting that may not be of your liking, of your choice. So all of these reasons is why Sandeep Bakshi has been able to build a company where attrition is low, employee morale is high, and people are seeming to be working for the ICICI bank and its mission. But there's another interesting thing, Rishi, that the story threw up. And that was uh, when the reporter, the journalist, Ronak, probably asked uh, you know quite a few people about when did you realize that there was a change happening at ICICI? And almost everybody, Ronak states in his story, reported back or sort of thought back of the same incident. Now, ICICI's uh, headquarters are in BKC, Bandra Kurla Complex in Mumbai. And there are two elevators or two types of elevators there. 
one for director and above level people and other for the regular staffers the first thing that uh, sandeep bakshi did after he took over as the ceo is that he started taking the regular elevator and not the uh, director's wow. elevator and suddenly there was a flutter and everybody was talking about the fact that oh my god the ceo is taking this particular elevator he was having a chat with employees as he was going to his office that sent a message to everyone that change is in the offing the change is coming or probably the change has already arrived and this is a company which is focused on its people and hence you don't need to abandon the ship maybe we still can salvage the situation and continue to do well for uh, ourselves and the company i'd like to chip in here saying this is a very colonial thought process uh from the times of the east india company they're basically covenanted officers covenanted officers are officers of so called higher rank and believe it or not the colonials also used to have not just their own elevators for covenanted officers but toilets separate toilets for covenanted officers and say these are toilets for covenanted officers as okay. opposed to the regular janta and right. one of the first things that you know we need to get rid of is that kind of a colonial mindset saying you know you can't have different loos and different lifts for so called top management so yeah. well done on bakshi uh, well done on that bakshi what are the the fing- finger the pointers that you can put your finger on and say this 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 is what we can learn yes uh, rishi so one thing that stands out for me and this is true across you know a lot of companies you look at tata group you look at uh, mahindra you look at any great company with good leadership what people mostly tend to remember are your actions so the way a leader spoke the way a leader behaved with people i mean i remember working with mr adi godrej back in the day when i was in public relations and he would actually carry his own suitcase to the 6th floor he would then take the stairs back down you know both ways and he wouldn't let even uh, you know an entry level pr executive like me uh, hold his suitcase because he would like to he would do that himself and he would always speak with the uh, ceos i've seen him speaking with the prime minister the ceo of a company to somebody who's an office boy working you know helping around the office it's the same tone the same respect now that, those are the stories which get retold right so your actions are the most important stories you'll ever tell i know a lot of companies corporates have corporate communication department people in pr like me who try to create uh, a lot of this written verbal uh, visual communication and all of that but if the, that communication is not backed with the right kind of actions by the leaders of the company it is going to fall flat at and at some point and which, which it does fairly regularly right so your actions are the most important stories you can ever tell uh, as a leader remember and think and also narrate the right stories using the right kind of actions i think that's the take win with stories a wonderful newsletter that he puts out uh, on linkedin sachin mandari does you want to get in touch with sachin mandari in the story co please do get in touch make sure that he comes over to the organization and does these wonderful storytelling sessions so many takeaways for organizations and how you can achieve your goals in a fun manner where can one reach out to you buddy uh rishi it's easy look for me on linkedin sachin that's easy bhandari is b h a n d a r y and on my profile there's a link which says uh, uh, get in touch or stay in touch and you can either book uh, either subscribe to the newsletter or book uh, a call with me if you're looking for workshops or training programs Awesome. I'm going to see you next week. Bye-bye. Look forward to it, Rishi. Thank you. Bye. 94.3 Radio 1.